Now, when I saw this book, I said, I have to get it because it's self-help, personal development. It's a personal development book, self-help book. And we are talking about The Richest Man of Babylon. Now, I already have this book, of course. It's different. It's, I think it's hardback, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but I do have it. I said, I cannot leave this book on the shelf. This is my kind of book, okay? Um, it's by George S. Plasson and some of the table of contents. This a low money is plentiful. Low money is plentiful for those who understand the simple rules of its acquisition. Number one, start thy purse to flattening. Number two, control thy expenditures. Number three, make thy gold multiply. Number four, guard thy treasures from loss. Number five, make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. Number six, ensure a future income. And number seven, increase thy ability to earn the richest man in Babylon. The richest man in Babylon. Okay, and table of contents. The man who desired gold, the richest man in Babylon. Seven cures for a lean purse. Meet the goddess of good luck. The five laws of gold, the gold lender of Babylon, and it goes on. Oh, yes, 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 two dollars, right? So everybody wants to become wealthy. They want to uh, become multimillionaires. They want to have a life of freedom, grace, ease, and flow. They want to have more time, more choices. And you need to begin to read it to help you, you know what I mean? And I've heard people say they didn't have a mentor, books, is a form of mentorship. They didn't have money to go to college. This is a form of learning. Don't underestimate getting a book. And you can start at Goodwill. Two dollars for a softback and three dollars for a hardback. You can't beat it. Okay? And on Amazon it was six dollars and ninety seven cents. I got it for two dollars. Two dollars. The richest man in Babylon, two dollars. It's a softback. Okay, next Now, when I saw this book, and then, of course, I saw the person's name who's affiliated with it, I was like, oh, I have to get this book. I was so impressed when I saw this book. A Separate Cinema, 50 Years of Black Cast Posters. 50 Years of Black Cast Posters. I was like, what, John Keach and Edward Mapp? This is what I'm saying, getting your hands on things like this that means something that has history and culture to it come on you know spite lee name name on you know got some culture honey he don't play about that and i stand with him on that he's serious about that culture do y'all not see this this is come on you know you all will know these people sometimes own this is what they have <laughs> this, these are the kind of things you want to own right you want to be cultural competence? Absolutely. If you don't know what cultural competence is, that's your assignment. Go look it up. You want to have that diversity, but you also want to know where it comes from. The history, the origin of it, the foundation, the foundation. This is where it starts, okay? This is beautiful to see how far we've come. And I'm all about how far we have come, okay? The preface, Spike Lee, introduction, Donald Baldwin. Yes, yes, this is beautiful. And it's called a separate cinema. 50 years of black cast posters. I can imagine what Spike Lee has in his house. He probably got all kind of <laughs> he probably got all kind of stuff. Okay. So Preface by Spike Lee, introduction by Donald Bogle. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing mispronouncing your name. B-O-G-L-E Bogle. I apologize. Okay. Without a voice, pioneers of independence, Parliament goes west. I'm skipping some because I don't want to give them all. A gift of the gods. Yeah. Two dollars, right? And it's thirty-nine dollars and forty-nine cent on Amazon. That ought to tell you something. Okay. Good investment to have. All right. This is the last book in this bag of treasures from Goodwill. This book is called Running a Bed and Breakfast for Dummies. So let me explain why I have this book. I say when I get older, I wouldn't mind 
owning a bed and breakfast in places like Martha's Vineyard, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Hampton's not so, but definitely somewhere like Martha's Vineyard or even here in Atlanta. Yes, um, I can see me doing a beautiful bed and breakfast, a big house, and oh, it's just designed so beautiful and we're talking about the black bourgeois coming in mm -hmm. oh i have a vision so i said why not get this book and i think i have another one on bed and breakfast um but it's not for dummies um i want to take time and really read and figure out how to do this because i can see me actually owning one and then putting somebody in the running oh definitely that's that's something i can see me doing that is definitely up my alley. You know, gold paintings. And we're talking about black excellence and black bourgeois, okay? This is going to be by invitation only. <laughs> you got, I'm not going to market to everybody. This is going to be exclusively for people who come in town and they want that really premium five star, seven star experience. I, yes, I'm a visionary and I implement. And I said, I'm not leaving this on the shelf at Goodwill absolutely not purchase it for two dollars and so this book is 39 dollars and five cents on amazon and why would i leave this million dollar book okay this is that's why i say all my books are worth a million dollars they got million dollar information in it so let's move on to the next bag mm. okay so now we're moving on to the next bag I hope you all are really enjoying this process with me i am um i would not change a thing i absolutely love this this is so therapeutic it's so feminine it's just so luxurious to me and everybody have their definition of luxury and this is my luxury you know what i mean just preparing for my beautiful library and i understand we have a library you have the, the decor books no i want real books in my library i don't want the all black or all red i don't want to do that i want books that i am going to be able to touch and read and learn something that's going to contribute to my life okay so my library is not about decorative it is about learning and i think i'm gonna have a little a little theme up there when you enter it i'm just I'm so excited about this so the next book i was so excited to get this book i was like oh another one another one another one louise hay book hayes book louise hayes book you can heal your life everybody loves her you know unfortunately she passed away you can heal your life i was like oh this is beautiful um and i'm gonna give you some of her table of contents um okay what is the problem where does it come from is it true what do we do now resistance to change how to change building the new daily work relationships and it goes on so when i think of louise hayes i also think of Catherine ponder you know what i mean there are no words i'm so glad i i got i have this book this is um a soft bag and i purchased this for two dollars you can heal your life and Healing is constant. Um, I don't think people understand that healing is, is constant. So let me explain. You may not be physically hurting. You may not be going through any hardship or anything, but you may temporarily go through something. You still have to recover from it. It's healing. So healing is a constant process. That's why it's important that you always nourishing it and tapping into what is actually going on with you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Uh, all of that okay you, you need to know what's really going on with you because once you understand that then you can begin to heal but healing is constant I don't know who would tell you they're not healing healing is a constant thing just want you all to understand that healing is a constant process it's a constant process but uh, I'm excited about her book and currently on Amazon is $29.48 $29.48 Go check out her website. Unfortunately, um, Louise Hayes passed. It's a fly here, though. Unfortunately, Louise Hayes um, passed away, but um, they're still running her empire. Go check out her books, programs, and whatever she's offering. Please go and support Louise Hayes. She's really good. Okay. Next. 
Now, when I saw this book, I was like, oh, here it is, vegan. And I know there's a difference between vegan, vegetarian, plant-based, and all. I'm just learning slowly but surely, okay? But this book is called The Oh She Glows Cookbook. Over 100 Vegan Recipes to Glow from the Inside Out by Angela Lydian. Lydian. So hopefully I'm not pronouncing her name correctly. And some of her table of contents is my natural food pantry, my favorite kitchen tools and equipment, breakfast smoothies, juice and teas, appetizer salads, my favorite soup, entrees. And so let me see if she has any more. She does. Uh, the book is well written, recipes, pictures, and I love to get a book with the recipe, with the pictures of, of the recipes. I feel it's so significant for me. So that's one thing I do like. I'm so excited to take out some of her recipes and try them. And when you begin your plant-based vegan vegetarian journey, you're going to try some things. Some things may work and some things may not, but I suggest you keep going. <laughs> Don't stop, okay? So I'm excited. Yes, I am. Okay. The Oh She Glows cookbook. This was $2. An investment at Goodwill. And online at Amazon is $28. $28. And I can actually see, you know, why. The book is well written. Beautiful colors. Uh, beautiful pictures. Uh, the food and stuff. This is a good masterpiece. Okay, next. Oh, Elizabeth Crawley, Prayer Journal for Women, 52 week scripture guided prayer notebook for women of God. I thought this was a beautiful book to take, okay? Um, you know, I, I'm a huge person, I'm a, I'm a believer, and I'm huge on prayer. I feel it's so significant like lately i have really been feeling meditating is so significant breath work it's just something about it it's just something that's just pulling me in to do prayer and meditate and do breath work you know and i also still journal and i do the visualization i do the affirmations i do the, what else so much i do okay in terms of just keeping me afloat and keeping me above and keeping me going you know what I'm saying? Instead of drowning in something that I probably can't change or don't have anything to do with me or just trying to cause a distraction, a negative distraction, I tend to try to stay above it. But the thing about it is this this prayer journey, it's, 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 it's been renewed for me. It's like prayer, meditating, and breath work, and all of that. It's like new, but it's, it's not new, but it's like a good feeling. But I was happy to get this prayer journal for women 52 week scripture guided prayer notebook for women of god i just was like oh this is just so me okay yes you have reflections and highlights i am thankful for things on my mind prayer requests prayer answered mm. yes 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 and this right here this journal was two dollars and it's worth so much more in my heart Online, it is eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay, on Amazon. This is a beautiful investment. And again, her name is Elizabeth Crawley. If you would like to go look her up, good investment. Next, okay, the eight human talents: acceptance, creativity, commitment compassion truth intuition boundlessness and radiance restore the balance and serenity within you with kundalini yoga okay so she's talking about breath work to build trust vitality and intuition meditation for rejuvenation stress release breaking habits and healing depression exercise to release fear build strength and determination and open your heart oh with Gurmuk, with Catherine Michonne something like that so I felt this is a very good book. It does not necessarily just focus on yoga. She has different things here about the eight human talents and I feel I definitely need to read this. This is the read right here. Um, the first chakra, acceptance. The second chakra, creativity. And then you have so many words up under that. I'm just not gonna give it right now. The third chakra, commitment. The fourth chakra, compassion. The fifth chakra, truth. 
the sixth chakra, intuition, the seventh chakra, boundlessness, and the eighth. The eighth chakra is radiance. This is a good investment by Gurmuk. G-U-R, hopefully I am pronounced her name correctly. G-U-R-M-U-K-H with Catherine Michonne. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes, $2 at Goodwill on Amazon is $15.99. Such a sad. So we are about to almost wrap this up. I have a few more bags. And as I shared before, the numbers can skew on Amazon. You may go on Amazon and it may increase or decrease depending on it's the holiday season, you know what I mean? But also you can go on Goodwill and purchase you a beautiful masterpiece for $2 for soft bag and for $3 hard bag. And it is so worth it. The books that I am getting, they're transformational books. You know? <laughs> Obviously you can see it for yourself. So let's move on to the next bag. Okay, so when I saw this book, I was like, oh, I know who that is. I don't want y'all to see it. I'm gonna turn this away. When I saw this book, I was like, Oprah. <laughs> I said, hopefully y'all not seeing my turmeric because I cut up turmeric just about every day. I'm like, Oprah, I have Oprah's spirit. <laughs> Oprah's in my heart, y'all. Okay, if it's not Oprah, it's Tyler Perry, okay? No, okay, so let me explain when I say Tyler Perry. I'm always watching the, the, the Browns, the Pain. That's what it is. It's like, okay. But Oprah, honey, she is definitely in my spirit. Okay, so when I saw this book, the first person I thought about was Oprah. I said, Oprah, okay. Look at you showing up. All right. You all, I, I'm going to give you the name of the book. I really needed this today. Hoda Copy. Holder Cosby book. I didn't even know she wrote a book. Did y'all know she wrote? I didn't even know she had written a book. Holder Cosby. Holder Cosby. I really needed this book. Words to Live By. I was not aware she wrote a book. I did not know. But some some of her table of contents. I do she have one. So this is more of like a this is like scenes and quotes. And you start at the beginning of the year, which I plan on starting. So the first one, January the first says, What's the new year what the new year brings to you will depend a great deal on what you bring to the new year. So and then she has some words. Okay. So I'm gonna add this to my morning routine, hold up. And we all know Hoda is on television. She's beautiful. Okay. I'm excited. I purchased this book for three dollars. I had to get it because I'm like, this Hoda's book. wasn't even aware that she had written a book. But look, three dollars. And on Amazon, it's twenty-four dollars. Yes. Okay, next. Okay, next. Now, the next person I'm about to talk about, she's an actress. I already have one of her books. Okay. To find the second book that she wrote, I was like. Okay, so let me show you all who it is. She is so beautiful. She's married to an athlete. Um, beautiful family. And she has a hair care line, if I'm not mistaken. She probably fussed at me. You don't know I have a hair care line? We're talking about Gabriel Union. Yes, yes, yes. I have her other book. But this book is called You Got Anything Stronger. Stories. I'm so excited. Gabriel is so naturally beautiful. And some of her um, table of contents in the book. Love even as a thought. Dream team. Embrace your kryptonite. On the compassion of strippers. Mm, interesting. Good soldiers. Zaya. Freshman orientation. The audacity of Asian with hope. Into the matrix. And it just goes on and on. And also, Gabrielle has a special on BET Plus. And it's about her turning 50. And I tell you, I cried. It was so good. She went to Africa with her husband. When I say it's good, with her family, actually. It is so good. I cried. It was really, really good. You all need to check it out. It's a part one and a part two. And she turns 50. Um, I just was touched by it. And I, I said, mm, who am I doing something? I want to go to Africa to be able to school, though. So I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Gabriel um, Union. 
such a beautiful actress. I so adored her on Being Mary Jane. I was like, no, I didn't bring Being Mary Jane back. Yeah, Being Mary Jane was such a good show. But Big Girl has been in so many movies. I mean, where's my movies, videos? She's like one of the season actresses. She's been around. She's been around for a while. She has had longevity, long success in the industry and very well respected. And she's another one that you rarely hear anything about. When, when Gabrielle comes out, it's business, either philanthropic work or doing some entrepreneurship or, you know, acting. She, she stays out of the limelight. That's not her. And she has Kyle her little girl. This was a beautiful investment. I really appreciate this one because I'm a woman of color and to see Gabriel on, on the front of this book means a lot to me, being a woman of color, to see another woman of color like this. I appreciate that. Early get it on Amazon for $27.99. Again, that's what I saw. Um, it may be less or more, who knows? Um, but go check it out. We love you, Gabriel Union. Okay, so. Um, I have one more. I have a beautiful bonus. You all are going to be surprised. The last two books that I'm going to share with you all, what I found, I almost cried. And I have a cute little bonus. So let's wrap this up. Just a few more books and we'll be done. And I appreciate you staying to the end, especially um, when we talk about this bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the last bag. But I have two bonuses and then a cute little bonus. But the last two bonuses are like really significant. You are gonna be shocked with what I found. Okay, so now with this book, it's some controversy behind this book. And I'm always intellectually challenging myself and I'm always curious about things. I'm like, okay, so what is this? Is this the future? And so I said, okay, I'm gonna purchase this book and read it because I keep hearing about it. But if the government is involved, <laughs> the medical field is involved, military, you kind of like want to just see what it is. We're, we're, okay, what they get ready to do? Okay, and the book is called The Truth About Crypto. Now, I don't know anything about crypto, okay? I, I know sometimes I get people on Instagram um, trying to get me to sign up. And I'm not even active on Instagram because I'm not active. The only thing that I'm really, really active on is YouTube, okay? Hey, YouTubers, and hi to my subscribers. I mm, love you. But in terms of Instagram, um, I get on there and I just support people's pages. That's about it. But I'm not, like, active like, like I used to be. But this book is called The Truth About Crypto. And since I'm hearing so much, I just want to know what it is. And it's a practical, easy to understand guide to Bitcoin, blockchain, NFTs, and other digital assets by Rick Elderman. And I just want to know what it is first before I join anybody because I have so many people saying join crypto. And I'm like, okay, first of all, what is crypto? And I am definitely a reader. So I would like to know what it is. I mean, invest in something. I clearly don't know what it is, okay? I know it has something to do with the banking industry and so forth on. Um, it's a new way of money movement or however but before i began to use the language or have any conversation about it i want to know the basics and i felt two dollars you can't beat that the truth about crypto i plan on diving into this in 2024 i have am where i read books and then i have pm where i read i'm a, I'm a reader so i feel this is something that's this is a good investment and it's, he has pictures in here. I'm pretty sure he made it very simple, the truth about crypto. And I'm like, okay, this is where it is for me. So I'm gonna read it and then I'll make a decision based on if I at least have the basics, what's really going on. So with anything in life, you all, you kind of want to know if, when you're hearing something all the time, if it's an asset, at least learn about it. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to move with it, but at least have knowledge about it, you know, so. I feel they're making a lot of noise. So let me see what the noise is about at least. And then in terms of the table of content, well, he was serious when he wrote this. Cold wallet, hardware devices, digital asset banks, major base layer protocols, 
major second layer of protocols, major blockchain applications of financial products and services, major blockchain applications and service outside the financial industry, publicly traded Bitcoin mining companies, um, digital assets exchange, custodians for digital assets, qualified RA, custodians that hold digital assets, digital assets, lending and borrowing platforms, and it goes on. So I know he put some time into this. Um, all I need to do is get my dictionary and get online if I have to do some research on theories or anything and get to reading. So I definitely have this on my 2024 to-do list in terms of reading. I already wrote it down. If I, was, I paid $2 for it. I paid $2 for it, but on Amazon it's $19.99. So I recommend for you to just at least know the basics because they are making noise. And I don't know the future of it. I've heard good things about it and bad things about it. I'm not an investor. I don't know anybody. I do have people come to me on Instagram and they can be they could be my golden ticket to me becoming a full-time philanthropist for all I know. I just know I just need to read something on it first and then I can make an assessment on my decision to take it any further. Okay, next book. Now, when I saw this, I was like, oh, if I don't get this right here. Now, we all invest into journals and things like that and do... Um, Excel, Word, um, Charge, Track, you name it, we're doing it. This book is entitled Dot Journaling, a practical guide how to start and keep the planner, to-do list, and diary that actually help you get your life together by Rachel Wilkinson Miller. And I felt like this was a good investment. Basically, this is gonna, this is not a journal, this is a book to teach you how to make sure you succeed having a journal. I don't know why nobody didn't think about that. This is a very good book. Now, typically, I, you know, I have the spirit of completion. I'm going to complete something. That's what I do. But um, I, I felt this was, I just want to see what she's coming from with this. I felt this was a good investment. Especially someone who, who does have the spirit of completion and who may in the near future want to share how did I see that what I've done. So, yeah, this is, Rachel did that when she came up with this. I'm impressed. A senior lifestyle editor at BuzzFeed should have known she has written for the hairpin Huffington Post. Okay. I remember once upon a time, everybody wanted to be writing for the Huffington Post. Everybody. I mean, everybody. The Knot and has appeared on Today and Good Morning America. She lives in Brooklyn. This is going to be pretty good. Okay. $2. And I, you can get it on Amazon for $14.95. Okay, next book. Now, when I seen this book, I was like, oh, this is gonna be something like Norman Vincent Peale book. We're talking about the Napoleon Hill, Keys to Success. Keys to Success. Everybody knows Napoleon Hill, if you don't need to get to know him. He is all about money mindset, mindset transformational. He's one of the great, great daddies in this field, okay? Hey. It's working, it's working for some. It's working. You stay committed and dedicated to, to the process. The 17 principles of personal achievement. I could not leave this. Okay. Anything with success, achievement, goal oriented, quantum lead, higher. I'm in the room. I'm in the room. Okay. So, of course, he is the author of Think and Grow Rich. So I know you know that book. Yes, we're talking about that, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. And then another good one is The Science. He didn't read, I mean, he didn't write The Science to Get a Rich, just somebody else. But Think and Grow Rich, okay? Y'all talking about, that's what I'm saying. Y'all talking about becoming rich. And y'all want to, you know, these wealthy women inspire you so much. Now, I understand sometimes they don't open up their home. And I, they shouldn't because for secrecy and as well as safety um you know they have children and thankful things but um, i'm trying to let you know this is what they doing start with oprah just she's a friend she's friends with a lot of these ladies start with oprah oprah has had a book club forever and a day the ladies are right there in front of you all now it all depends on who you follow like you know it depends on who you're following because nowadays getting the bag comes 
the avatars are different. The avatars are not gonna be a Whitley from like a different world. They're not gonna look like that sometimes. They're not. They might look a little bit more creative, a little bit more um, fashionable. You know, they're gonna have the color hair, you know, the eyelashes, twinkle, twinkle little eyelashes. They're gonna have the logos on that the getting the bad ladies are changing. They're not a Whitley from a different world. They're they're not gonna look like that. Poised, refined, articulate. Those women are becoming very isolated. They're like on the side, kind of quiet. They're not making the noise like they once did. And actually, they didn't make noise back then. It's just everybody was intrigued about who they were. But this new, this new innovative way of living, this laptop lifestyle, this selling things on social media, it just changed the game. You know, everything is hustle, hustle. But the women that I'm talking about, and they might not be drinking tea, they may be drinking wine, listen to some classical music. And of course, they're going to have their morning routines and go to Nobu and occasionally Starbucks and Tar Target and Trader Joe's. And some of them may have maids and chefs and all of that. They may not go out as often. They may be on their jet or yacht, but they still doing this. They doing this when they get on their duvet covers at night or when they first get up and they go in their reader room. I'm trying to let y'all in. Y'all want to know. So I'm not going to come with all aesthetics. My aesthetics is going to be a little different. Now, I love aesthetics. I never said I didn't like it. I never said I didn't. But my aesthetics is going to be a little different. So I'm not going to be the one necessarily saying these are the top things of what the woman do. No. I'm going to tell you one of the most important things a wealthy woman does. And this is it. She's going to read. And I'm giving you a way where it's affordable, where you're giving back. Your two, three dollars still contributes to goodwill. Everybody wins. The masterpiece is the masterpiece is written. The masterpiece is acknowledged. You read the you read the work, you learned, and you paid for us, and you paid for it. So what more could you ask for, right? Napoleon Hills, keys to success: the 17 principles of personal achievement. So. Let me give you some of the table of contents. And this was $2. Okay, develop, uh, establish a mastermind alliance, assembly, uh, establish a mastermind alliance, use apply faith, go the extra mile, create personal initiative, control your enthusiasm, enforce self discipline, think accurately, uh, think accurately, control your attention, and so much more. $2. We're talking about the man who wrote. Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Oh, when I saw this book, when I saw this book, I was like, it made me think about Reese Witherspoon. But I will say this, Goop. Y'all know what Goop is? <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of this woman. Okay, some way, some, what, some shape or some form, okay? They want... They want to work with her some way, somehow. And I am talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. It's all good, delicious, easy recipes that will make you look good and feel great. We are talking about Gwyneth Paltrow book. Uh, Gwyneth started out as an actress, of course. Um, and I will give you some of her particular contents. She is another lovable person, like Reese Witherspoon, of course. It says... Um, on clicking panic attacks, um, how it all got really good behind the iconic how to use this book pantry, morning time, salads, my favorite, and a few great dressings, soups, birds, and some, it's a, birds and some meat, fish, vegetables, and it just goes on. I am so excited about Gwyneth Paltrow book. And I want to say I have another book of hers, if I'm not mistaken, I would have to look and see because I typically type out all my books because when I get ready to move into my town home or home, I have everything already in order um, based on how I type it up. 
I'm so excited. This book was three dollars at Goodwill, and it is currently on. It is currently currently at Amazon for thirty five dollars. And as I've said time and time again, you may go to Amazon and maybe less or more. It's the holiday season, but online it's thirty five, and I was able to get it for three dollars. Look, I'm so I feel so blessed to be able to get these books. Because I'm going to tell you all, at the end, I'm going to tell you how many books that, that I actually have right now, how much, if they were new, how much they would cost, and how much I saved based on the new price. But I'm going to tell you how much I actually spent on Goodwill pricing. Okay, so next. Oh, now the good part, okay. I was so emotional when I found these two books. And y'all will expect y'all see I'm getting I'm getting emotional now. I was so emotional when I found these two books. Okay. Now one person I I actually have both of their books. Okay. So let me just start with the first one. Okay. I found another Michelle Obama book because okay. So I have, I should just go get them. I have a few of her books, okay? To see this book, I'm like, okay, God. Because it's something that I'm about to do and it's important that I have Michelle Obama book, okay? <laughs> Michelle, Michelle Obama is like a mentor to everybody. She's either a mother figure, a mentor, a business mentor, a community mentor. She is something to somebody. She, we take a piece of her, okay? I know Barack Obama is probably like, can I have my wife back, y'all? <laughs> can I have my wife? Michelle Obama is just a spirit of his own, okay? She just, there are no words, okay? So to have her book speaks to her volume, and I gotta have her books in my library. There are no exceptions, okay? Non negotiable. It is what it is. So if I, whatever book I find, Michelle Obama written it, it will be in my library. I don't care if it's five, six, I'm gonna have her, this is my book. Okay, so to have Michelle Obama book and to find it at Goodwill was like, because every time I find a book, I'm like, I'm like to myself, not only and I'm transforming my life, but I'm, my library is just gonna be so, my library is gonna be like Oprah's. <laughs> my, <laughs> Oprah probably be like, baby, you know you got some time on you. <laughs> Oprah probably be like, you, you need to live in my work. But I'll be able to be in the room with Oprah, okay? So, cause have y'all seen um, Oprah Rupert's library? She probably got more than one, but have y'all, <laughs> she has a picture and I say, oh, I'm gonna do the same thing. Y'all know she might have a dark. Okay, so. She has a picture with like, she's like sitting, no, she's at her desk and she's like have all these books. She's read all these books. I think it has something to do with book club because I was going through, going through the picture so fast. I'm going to do the same thing over. I'm going to take a professional beautiful picture and a dress, like an evening gown in front of my books. Oh. Just to think about, to be able to do that is life changing for me. But to have Michelle Obama book, and I know I, I know I have, so I don't care if y'all can fuss all you want to. You got Michelle Obama book, you got to, I sure do. And because when somebody comes to my house, okay, I'll be able to bless and give it to that significant person, whomever God put on my heart. So when you come to my library, I may say, you know, I think you need to read Michelle Obama book and I'll be able to go and get one and sign it, okay? I'm talking about what my name is a gift. Yes, but if I see it, Makiba is purchasing it, okay? So sit down because i will be getting her books if it's there because i plan on blessing and giving them away from my lobby here depending on who it is i'm not just buying books to give away now they have to be a reader i'm sorry i don't believe in buying books for decorative reasons no but the curvy i no. if you're a reader and i feel we have a connection with reading you never know you might get a michelle obama book from my town home but Anyway, let me give you some of the table of contents. If you have heard it, you just don't hear it again. She was former first lady of the United States of America. I just love to say that. Okay, so becoming me, becoming us, becoming more. Yes, 
Yes, yes, yes. And her book on Amazon currently is $32.50, $32.50. I was able to receive this beautiful treasure and pay $3. And that was the best $3 I've ever spent. All of this, that's why I say it. I'm gonna tell you all how much I've, in this. Now, as I shared earlier, I may have gone to YouTube. Why I keep saying YouTube? I must be getting ready to go to YouTube. I may have gone to Goodwill, and I may come out with a bag or a box or two or boxes. It all depends on. So with this setting, this has been a, over a couple of months. So I'll probably do this process again sometime next year i don't know when because i, I want to build up i don't want to have four books and do this <laughs> unless i'm doing like i'm sharing you how i feel about a book okay so michelle obama book becoming i almost cried but i'm gonna tell y'all what really did it when i share the next book because it got something to do with this book i was like oh my library is gonna be so historical so powerful so wealthy with knowledge next first before i even show before I even share what the book was, this book was sitting by itself, and I was like looking at it. I was like, "That's a, cause see, when I see a book that's thick, what, what I'm about to show you all, I always say it's a novel. And I told y'all, if I'm gonna if I'm doing a novel, it has to be something like Martin King, um, <laughs> um, Tyler Perry. I, there are some exceptions, cause I know." They're going to give some things that's relatable or they're going to give some teaching or it's going to be a testimony. You know, I just don't, I just ain't into the novel. And, and, and those are probably going to be autobiographies if you think about it. I don't know, storytelling. But when I started from a distance, I was like, mm, that's a novel. But when I got up on it, I had to be very comic collected because I say, I know they watching me, honey. The girl be getting them books. I say, mm, let me add real like I just picked up anything. But on the inside, honey, I was like crying. I was like, oh my. Okay, so. Are y'all ready? Look what I found. And it is brand new. A promised land by our former president, Rock Obama. Do y'all can y'all see this in my library? <laughs> so dramatic. I can't wait to do my library. Can y'all not? I don't have this in the front. See, certain books gonna be in the front of my library, so when you walk in, you can kind of see it. I'm gonna have Rock Obama and I'm gonna have Michelle Obama. Okay. Hopefully, Oprah takes some more pictures so I can get some ideas. But do y'all do y'all not see this? I'm being, I'm trying, YouTube say be yourself, I'm being myself, I don't know what else to tell y'all, I found Barack Obama, do y'all see how thick this book is, how much knowledge, pictures, oh my goodness, do y'all not see what this book, do y'all not see this, is it something that y'all, <laughs> that's why I say y'all want to know what wealthy women doing, now, a wealthy woman, we're more likely donate books or donate um, treasures or funds or whatever. You know what I mean? But she's reading, and this is what this is about reading, okay? I purchased this book for $3. $3. This is the best $3 I've ever spent. On Amazon, this book cost $45 on Amazon. And if I had to pay $45, I would. Because we're talking about this is the former President Barack Obama, okay? And it's called A Promised Land by Barack Obama. And some of his, some of his table of contents. I told you all, I'm not going to give it all up. Okay, The Bet, Yes We Can, Renegade, The Good Fight, The World As It Is, and The Barrel for the High Choir. We talk about former president Barack Obama. What more? What other treasure? <laughs> I mean, I just want you to think about it. We're talking about Barack Obama's book for three dollars. Okay, practically brand new. Nothing is. It's, it's not messed up or nothing. Beautiful picture, and I found Michelle Obama at the same time. They were talking about Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. They were in two separate sections in Goodwill. They were in the book section, but two separate sections. 
I was like, this is a sign my, my love area is coming. It's just a matter of time. I'm gonna stay positive, optimistic, focused, disciplined, determined. I'm putting my love area together. And I can't wait. When you walk in my love area, you will be seeing Michelle Obama and Barack Obama first. Yes, I'm gonna stand up some kind of way so people can know what kind of love area this is. We serious. <laughs> I'm a serious love area. I'm just so blessed to have found all of these treasures. But it was such a true and beautiful blessing to walk in Goodwill, a place that put people to work, make a difference in the community, to be able to find value masterpieces like Michelle Obama and Barack Obama and any other masterpiece. But it was closest to my heart to be able to find Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, um, Urban Magic Johnson, Alice Walker, Maya Angelou, you know, this just goes on, Spike Lee, Tyra Banks, we're talking about men and women who have totally been trailblazers in my community and who crossed over and made a way for us to cross over too. And I'm so appreciative. I really am. There are no words. I'm so grateful. And I, every time I get a book, I'm so I'm appreciative and I will treat it with the utmost respect and take time and listen to what you are articulating on paper. First, I would like to start out by saying that I am so grateful to have the opportunity to go inside of Goodwill and purchase books. You know, this is this is a beautiful opportunity, you know what I mean? And we're in a time where there are so many narratives and I want to be a part of a movement that brings truth, light, greatness, transparency, transformation, grace, love, peace, joy, strategy. <laughs> You name it. So I'm, I just first want to say thank you to each, thank you to everyone, anyone, any individual, any group, any organization, any corporation, the person who donate, you have a place in my heart because I'm at a point in my life where I feel I am really changing. I'm becoming a better woman daily. And to have the opportunity to read speaks high volume. And I just wanted to say that. Also, I wanted to discuss the price points of the books. Okay, so I purchased 43 books. If these books were brand new, the cost would be a total of $1,003.01. And this is not including taxes. Again, I purchased 43 books, but if these 43 books were brand new, like at a major store, um, such as like an Amazon or a Barnes or Noble or anything like that, they would the, the cost would be a total of one thousand three dollars and one cent. However, I had the blessing to go inside of Goodwill and purchase 43 books at the price point of one hundred and five dollars. I purchased 43 beautiful masterpieces for $105. And if these books were brand new and honestly and are most of them are, I have saved a total of $898.16. I saved again $898.16. And I just want to spend some time saying how grateful I am. You know, the more I do this process, the more I realize I just want to just express how happy and how grateful I am um, to be able to save $898.16. So I recommend for you to go inside your local Goodwill and purchase. And you'll be making a difference. And also, you will, you will also be reading a masterpiece that's going to contribute highly to your life. I am on this soft life journey. And... I am so happy that I am experiencing these moments. Happy holidays, many blessings, 